What is your design style? That's the question that you need to know and need to answer, I think, if you're going to design a kitchen. If you're going to renovate or maybe you're buying a new home or you're building a new home and you're putting a kitchen in that home, what are the things that you like? And some people are really into design styles and some people, you know, like myself, are just not. And I, I don't think on those terms. But it's an important topic, one that gets a lot of attention. And so we're going to talk about it tonight. And um, in, in firstly, by discovering what exactly is my design style. And then later on, we will get some, uh, get some feedback from everybody. If you've watched any of my videos and you've seen my kitchen in, in the background of a lot of my videos, uh, I did a tour, a little tour of my kitchen. And, um, you know, I don't know what you classify that as. Is it just, is it transitional? I guess it's shaker. Uh, I, maybe it's a little bit contemporary. I, you know I mean? I don't even know, you know, I'm not an interior designer, like I said, and I don't claim to be, but it's fun to talk about and we're going to keep going. So let's jump into this quiz. There's one from house. That's the one we're going to look at first. And let me just share my screen. You can all see it. All right. This is uh, what style of kitchen should you have? Should you be cooking up a storm in a modern traditional farmhouse or another style of kitchen? Take the quiz to find out. This is dated 2014, but hey, why not? Uh, we'll get, we're going to go through it anyway. So let's see. I'm going to go through this quiz and we will find out exactly um, what my design style is. And if I agree, you know, I mean, if this quiz is right, it should be good. So here's the first question. What do you want most in your kitchen? Well, there's a lot of options here. Okay. Do I want a calm vibe, sunshine, horizontal lines, wood? I mean, some appliances would be good. Um, an ocean breeze, funky color, a sense of timelessness. Ooh, I like that. Handmade tile, lots of texture, simplicity, cutting edge appliances. Oh, there's appliances. I should have read further. Stone, uh, copper cookware, or friends. What do I like in my kitchen? What would I want the most? The most, the most, the most. Oh, my goodness. This is very difficult. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know, guys. What do I want in my kitchen? I guess, oh, you know what? I know what I want. I want an ocean breeze. I want an ocean breeze. Because that would mean I live on the ocean. And that's what I want. Okay, next one. Pick a countertop material. Ooh, that's a nasty one. How dare we do this? Okay, let's see. I'm not going to pick laminate because I always pick laminate because it's my favorite. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pick laminate. Um... Let's see, granite plus a stainless steel island. No, uh, let's see, natural quartz, reclaimed wood, anything pure white, Calcutta marble, mm. bamboo, handmade tiles, definitely not. Natural limestone, no, nah. butcher block, no. Nope. Colored concrete, ooh, maybe. Zinc, I don't know enough about it. Laminate, like I said, not gonna choose it. Spanish gold marble, well, that sounds amazing, but. I don't think so. Or slate. You know, I think if I was going to choose, uh, I'm going to go. Let's just go big. Let's go big. Let's let's go big. And oh, let's do marble. Let's do Calcutta marble. That would be amazing. Not the best choice for a kitchen. But it's getting more and more popular, right? I can't go with butcher block, Deborah. I'm sorry. I just I'm just not a butcher block kind of person. Let's uh, let's go Calcutta marble. <clears throat> I definitely don't want to pick quartz because everybody picks quartz. You know, like quartz is just the the go to on the market right now. I just, I just don't want to pick it. I want to go something else. Pick an accessory. All right, ornate candlesticks. Yeah, that sounds like me for sure. Bamboo stalks, handmade pottery, a single bright flower in a simple vase, fresh veggies on the counter. Ooh, I like that one the best so far. Antiques with a good amount of patina. I do not care about that. Orchids, that's just a flower. Something that makes people laugh. That would hopefully just be me in the kitchen. Vintage vessels, nah, new gadget, mm, heirloom, heirloom tomatoes in a handcrafted bowl. Vintage advertisements, that sounds fun. A colorful tablecloth, 
or none. No, I want to go with fresh veggies on the counter. Come on. We've got enough gadgets. We need more veggies. Hey, Patty's here. Hi, Patty. Hey, everyone else who is, if I missed you, if I, if I, if I didn't see you there, I see Helga. Hi, Kelly. Deborah's here. I see Linda. Teresa. If I miss you when you come on, um, just say hi and someone will, someone will say hi to you. Pick a cooking ingredient. Butter. That's a strong contender. Sea salt. Cream, cayenne pepper, olives, pine nuts, citrus, saffron, salt and pepper, sesame oil, homegrown organic herbs, sriracha, cinnamon, or sugar. Butter all the way. Come on. Not even a question. Pick a palette. White and steel, nothing but wood. Wood and green, all gray, please. How about just whitewashed wood? No way. Black and white, wood and red. This is difficult. Crisp white and green. As many colors as I can fit, yellow and white, wood and stone, red and yellow, soft yellow and soft blue, white and ocean blue. That sounds nice, white and ocean blue. Hmm, let's see. That's a tough one because I don't care. That's the problem. I do like white, okay? But I want to do something different, you know? So I don't want to pick white on this. Let's go. I like I like black, but I like it with wood. Wood and green. Can't believe I picked green. What kind of kitchen is this going to be? Where do you wish to live? All right. So now we're talking. Rural country, the mountains, suburbia, a big bustling city, a historic neighborhood, an island, a warehouse district, the coast. The coast of an island would be good. I like to move around a lot. A uh, small town with, uh, but not a remote one. What else we got? An apartment size, apartment above a cafe. South America sounds great. And uh, the Far East. Uh, and kind of far, too far away from me, from from what I feel will be home, an, or a ranch. Well, you know, Costa Rica sounds kind of good. So let's go there. Let's go South America. Because, because why not? Because I can, right? I'm making the big YouTube dollars. <laughs> Pick a light fixture. All right. Oversized wrought iron pendants. I, you know, I'm interested to see what kind of design style this is going to tell me. Hey, Diane, first time here. Thank you for being on. Uh, I'm glad you can make it. I'm going through a quiz. I don't know if you caught most of this yet. Seeing what my design style is, because I really don't know. And uh, so this will be a little bit fun. Glad you could join us and say hi. Uh, burn lights. I like burn lights. This is going to be a one crazy kitchen. Wicker lights. Something found and repurposed. Iron sconces. Sconces are very popular these days. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, interesting. Uh, something dim and intimate. <laughs> that's, that's just funny. Um, something with frosted glass. Sleek pendants. Crystal chandelier. Something small and minimalist. Tiffany lamps. Yes, I think it's going to be Tiffany lamps. Can or puck light, something vintage. Uh, the more dramatic, the better. I'm not super dramatic. You'll find in the video coming on Saturday, uh, lamps have something to do with it. So, um, But I'm not, not a Tiffany lamp. I don't even know what a Tiffany lamp is, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see. Like, do I look like I know what a Tiffany lamp is? <laughs> I like sconces. I'm going to go with sconces. They're, they're very trendy right now. So I want to be a little bit trendy. Pick a dessert. Okay. Green tea ice cream, homemade pralines, organic fig tart, <laughs> apples and brie, something that requires dry ice. Really? Almond flan, creme, bru creme brulee, strawberry rhubarb pie. I don't like rhubarb. Baklava. I don't even have to go any further. I'm picking that. That is delicious. Love baklava. All right. Pick a parting phrase. <laughs> what does this have to do with my kitchen style? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see. Farewell. No. Be seeing ya. No. Aloha. Just, that's just, no. Um, I wish. See you later, alligator. I like that one. Bye y'all. No. So long. No. Don't be a stranger. No. Sayonara. All the best. Take care. 
See you around. Adios. Au revoir. Rook Chow. Um, you know what? Just, I would, I want you to take care. And then it just, bam, you get your design style just like that. Here we go. My style is Spanish. <laughs> See? Warm, distressed cabinets, stone and wood ceilings, and copper sinks have a place in the Mediterranean style kitchen. Okay, so I guess my style is Mediterranean style. Stick with soft white cabinets. Okay. Saltillo doors? Oh, Saltillo tile floors. I'm sorry. I don't know what they are. And a glass of sangria on hand, and you'll be all set. Oh, I'll switch that out for a glass of, um, what would I rather have? Just water's fine. Um, or some kombucha. Let's do kombucha. All right. My design style is Mediterranean. Here's the thing. I don't, Ole. I, <laughs> I just, I got to jump over to the comments here in a second. Hold on. I like this. Uh, Get off my grass. That is, that's probably better. Um, Gammy, you pull a Tiffany lamp out of our house of the night. See, I don't even know what Tiffany lamps are, but I guess I, I guess that Tiffany lamp will be in my next video because I have it. Oh, it's stained glass. Okay. Well, wh why would I know what a Tiffany lamp is? I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, would you never have guessed that I have a Mediterranean Canadian fusion? That's right. Mediterranean Canadian. That should be the, my new channel name. Mark Tobin, the Mediterranean Canadian. Oh, man. I I, I guess so. Um, I don't know if I'm necessarily... I'll tell you what. When Amy and I went to Mexico, we fell in love with just the style that was there. So I would say I'd be okay with this. I definitely would be okay with the fact that if I had to go move there somewhere in South America, that I would be able to, I'd definitely be able to put up with the style of the kitchens there. So um, I'm going to say I'm okay with this. I obviously didn't put it in my own kitchen because it, it just doesn't fit, you know, I guess me here. Uh, but maybe I should think, rethink my tile situation and think about some handmade glazed tiles or something more eclectic. However, you have to understand, and you all do, that um, it's not just my design style that matters because it has to fit Amy's. However, if we went to Costa Rica, we would both be able to put up with the Mediterranean style. Mediterranean Canadian, I love it. Um, and I learned what a Tiffany lamp was. So there you go. It has, it has stained glass on it. You didn't know that? Everybody knows that. I'm just not into lamps, you know? So, all right, that was fun. I'm, I'm a Mediterranean. Um, you can, I'll, I'll link to these later on. You'll have to go back to the description and uh, you can check it out for yourself. What design style are you? Take the little quiz. I don't know how accurate these are, but it's fun. And um, let's see. Oh, Total Drag is doing Mediterranean style when it's freezing cold a lot. Yeah. And like, it's freezing cold a lot here. So maybe that wouldn't work or maybe it would work and I would feel warmer uh, because the kitchen would make me feel warmer. Is low maintenance just a, a style or <laughs> low maintenance should be a style. Uh, you know, I like low maintenance too. <laughs> How'd you find the test? Oh, I guess it's right there. Um, Ivy, what is yours? You're a Mediterranean too. Maybe everybody's Mediterranean. Take the test, people. Find out what you are. It's important. It's important that you know what style you are so that if you go to get a new kitchen, you, you don't have to be, you know, wondering. When the designer says, like, what are you looking for? You'd be like, Mediterranean. Obviously, look at me. I, I look Mediterranean, right? So that's what I should be. I think it's the coastal thing, you know? Love, love being... I mean, I live on the Atlantic Ocean, so I'm, I'm pretty good. I want... I want those salt tea load. Am I even saying that right? They don't blend with the Tennessee mountains. You know, they don't blend with Eastern Canadian either. Um, let's um, let's look up what these are. Salt tea low tiles. I want to find out. So let's do that. Um, 
Bear with me. Hey, Rob's here. Hey, Rob. Salt elo tile. And, it's, you know, if I don't, I mean, I don't know what these are. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you these in a minute. Oh, you think Baklava turned it Mediterranean. Yeah, I guess Mediterranean is not really South American. I'm kind of getting that confused. Not confused, but just mis misspeaking it. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's share this screen. I could handle Mediterranean though too, if we're if we're talking about a Mediterranean. All right, all right. Let's see. Okay, bear with me for a second. While I, uh, how do I share that? No, not slides. Okay, hold on. All right, stop. Oh, here we go. All right. Okay. I'm getting there. Hold on. There we go. There we go. That's the Saltillo. Yeah. No. Not my thing. I like the color, but I'm just I'm just not a tile fan. I would rather... But hey, if it's on the Mediterranean, I'll deal with it. No problem at all. But yeah, they might blend with the Medi with the uh, Tennessee mountains. You never know. Very nice. All right. So that's that's um, that's my first design cell. But I have a, a few more of these tests to go through, these quizzes. So let's do that. Let's minimize this one and let's share the screen. If you're just jumping on, I'm going through some design quizzes to find out exactly what my design style is and um, you know see if I agree with it or disagree with it and it's kind of fun to look at these things and um, see uh, how accurate they are I don't know how I don't think they're very accurate take the quiz all right here we go all right what kitchen style do you prefer take the quiz all right, let's do that. Let's take the quiz. Let's go down a little bit here. Traditional, contemporary, tradition, transitional. Kitchen. All right, kitchen style quiz. What kitchen do you prefer? All right, ready? Let's jump into this. Oh, wrong page. Here we go. All right, here we go. How much do you appreciate sleek design lines? Ah, yes, I love simplicity. Mm, no. Sounds interesting. Sure. Sleek design lines. Yeah, I would say I do like sleek design lines. What style does your house have overall? I would have more of a transitional style. Definitely not contemporary, not traditional. So let's go transitional. Which colors appeal to you? Well, I have to say this palette there. Okay. Think about your childhood uh, kitchen style. Yes or no. I can work with that. Sure. No, I want something different. Definitely. Well, my most of my younger years, my parents had a white kitchen and I definitely like white kitchens. So I could work with that. Which of these lighting styles make you say yes? <laughs> definitely not that middle one. Um, pendant lighting would be amazing. Yeah, that's a little too much for me. It looks cool. I, I like it a lot, actually. Maybe I'll go with that one. I like pot lights, but I'm going to go with that one. Pick one of these statements. Pick one of these statements. Makes me feel calm with all in order. I don't care about that. Can surprise people. Do what's not expected. Okay is me without needing to stick to any one style. Let's go to the middle one. I, okay. Which sounds most like you? I'm all about balance. I like what's new, what's now. I like what's familiar. Uh, I like familiar, I have to say. When you read or watch movies, what do you like? A nice mixture? A nice mixture of what? I have favorites that I return to over and over, the latest and greatest. You know what? I could watch the same movie over and over and over again. Like the Jason Bourne movies are like, I know it's going to happen, but I could just keep watching them. I just like, I like knowing what's going to happen. And I just find I enjoy the movie more weird, but that's the kind. All right. 
Result. Here's the result. I'm a contemporary kitchen style. How did they come up with that? How did they how did they come up with contemporary kitchen style? I didn't pick it basic. I didn't pick this at all. I like it though. It's nice, but it's just not me. But I do like it. Interesting. So I am a Mediterranean style and contemporary. So far. Um I'm confused. And yeah, right? I'm just, just watch that over and over again. Like, keep going. I can do that. That's what I like. I like watching movies like that. I get scared watching a new movie because I'm like, ah, what if I don't like it? And then I waste two hours. At least the movies I've already seen, I already know I like. And uh, that's the way it is. So I guess I'm a contemporary kitchen stylist. I, I, I don't know. What do you think about contemporary kitchens? Are they something that you would like to have in your home? Do you have a contemporary kitchen? I know over the years I've designed and, and installed a lot of more contemporary style types of kitchens um, in, in particularly working with one contractor over the years. And that was his go-to um, contemporary. Good question. I, what is contemporary? Let's, let's find that out. Let's, you know, instead of me telling you, let's, let's scroll up here. Um, when I think of contemporary, I just think of like modern, sleek, I think a high gloss, I think of stuff like that. I don't know, but this is what this website says. Let's look at it. I'll put this back on the screen. Uh, the idea of embellishments in your kitchen doesn't resonate, um, right? How does this sound? So clean, sleek, uncluttered. If that description say, makes you say, ah, then it makes you consider a contemporary kitchen. Uh, there's a little link, but I'm not going to go there. This style focuses on streamlined surfaces and highly usable fashion. How contemporary is defined uh, is defined will change over time because it refers to decorating in the now. This is a contrast to a modern kitchen, which refers to specific design movement. In general, though, a contemporary look uh, for your kitchen will follow less. Uh, the less is more philosophy with straight lines, clean cut cabinets without fancy moldings. So I would say, yeah, I could go with that. Uh, marble can add a touch of sophistication. I add, I added marble in the last quiz. As far as kitchen um, cabinet styles, glass front ones will allow you to display decorative items, items in a stunning way. Not super into um, glass front cabinets, but not too bad. All right. So there you go. So they're they're a little bit different. I you know these things all kind of blend a little bit to me. You know, it's important that you just get like you're just happy with when you look at your kitchen. Like I like that. That's that's it. Um, but some people are really hung up on the actual design style. Obviously, you can figure it out. I am not. But uh, our current kitchen is very traditional. But I want to move it more contemporary, but not necessarily modern. Yeah. See, I just want it. I just want it to look nice like nice is what I want. And that's the main thing. But yeah, Matthew, I, 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 uh, I think I like that contemporary look, but I don't know. Anyway, clean, sleek, and uncluttered people actually have a kitchen like that. Must not have any kids. Uh, yeah, I guess it depends on the age of your kids. Right. And yeah, it can be difficult. Um, for sure. I know like, for us now, our kids are a little older. They can help. They can keep it sleek and uncluttered. So that's always a good thing. All right. Tradition, transitional. Yeah, see, I agree, too. I probably am more of a transitional type of person, I guess. I don't even know. Yeah. I think so. Like, I like shaker doors. I don't know. You know what? I could do with anything, to be honest with you. I, I don't think I'd care. But I've gun shakered the last three kitchens. So maybe I do care. I obviously do. All right, let's do the last. So I'm, a, I'm Mediterranean and I am contemporary. I'm a mix. Let's do this next one. And let's see. We'll do one more quiz. And then we'll chat for a bit. Uh, design. Ooh, let's see. This one here. I think it's this one. Yeah, this is from BuzzFeed or whatever. All right, first we got to pick a kitchen layout for inspiration. 
All right, here we go. Let's pick a kitchen layout for inspiration. I have a feeling that these are all just setups, you know? All right, which ones do we like? The white one's pretty nice on the top there. Green. It's not, I'm just not into green. Pink. Hey, you know you know something? That's kind of funny. Those are the same kitchens. The pink one and the green one. They just changed the colors. They're the exact same. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, the wood beams and stuff. That's nice. I like that. The darker one. I like dark. I, I'm, I kind of am leaning towards dark. And the marble on the wall there. You know, I really like this one. Maybe I'm drawing. Oh, the other one has big windows too. I'm going to go with this one. Let's, I, I don't know. looks nice. I like the, oh, I like the wood with the live edge. Whatever. I'm going to go down. All right. Matthew, let me jump to your comment. My seventh grade history teacher says a clutter desk is a sign of a genius. Well, if you see my desk, you'd, I'm definitely a genius. But when it comes to kitchens, I think clutter makes you look sloppy. Yeah, unless you're a genius cook, maybe. It'd be different. All right, pick an accent pattern. Wood, pattern tile, subway tile, granite, marble, or bold colored paint. Not into gold colored paint. I like granite, but that picture just looks like confetti, which I don't think is cool. Subway tile. Mm. I like that Mediterranean looking tile up there. I don't even know if that's what it is, but let's see. All right, let's do it. Let's go with, uh, I'm just kind of curious what this is going to do for me. So let's go with that pattern tile. Pick a cabinet style. Wood with windows? No. Open concept? Excuse me. Yes. Lots of cabinets with large handles. Those aren't really that large, but I, I mean, I, I don't think that's a style, by the way. Lots of cabinets. What kind of style do you want for your kitchen? Lots of cabinets. Okay, well, that's not a style. Lots of cabinets and small handles. We know I don't like that. Okay, bottom left, the green one. Bottom left. This is the bottom left. This is this green one. I think you guys didn't see that one yet. And sleek with no handles. I like sleek. I like no handles. I think you guys are pick want, want me to go with this one. So I'm going to do it. Pick a finish for your appliances. Steel, slate, white, black, bronze, or popsicle green. Um, appliances are so boring. Let's do something crazy. Let's do this cool white looking one uh which of these is which of these is most important to have in your kitchen a pot filler a kitchen island lots of counter space lots of natural light a dishwasher or a pantry let me tell you this is difficult so a pot filler is not super essential an island i definitely definitely love um I definitely love islands, but again, like if you don't have the room for it, like, it, you know, it's not super essential. Lots of counter space. Yes. These are all good. Lots of natural light. I'm loving that more all the above, right? A dishwasher. Ooh. Yeah. Super essential. A pantry. Um, Let's see, the most important to have in your kitchen. The most important. Help me out, folks. Help me out. What do you think? The most important. The most important. Shoot. Why is this difficult? Oh, yeah, like the last four are essentials. A pantry is very dishwasher, Kelly. Yeah. Pot filler, no. Kitchen island, I'm going to say no. No, I love islands. Lots of natural light. The most important. I guess you could get away with not having any light and going for um, lots of, you know, light. Counter space. 
shoot, depends on how many kids you have. Do you need a dishwasher? You do not need a dishwasher. For us, I'm going to say dishwasher because it was kind of the one thing that um, really helped us out, you know, in in our life in the kitchen was when I got in. We were talking about tonight when when we first got a dishwasher. It was a game changer for us because at that time, like it was just, you know, you got little ones and just life is crazy. Um, so I'm going to go with a dishwasher. But I will say this. Um, all of those things are really good. I like lots of counter space too. I like all those things. A pot filler would be cool, but I don't think I need it, you know? Like I've never had one, so I think it's fine. Now, if I had one, a pantry's good too. Yeah, I definitely agree on that. So that was a difficult one. Let's see here. Pick a cookware set. Interesting how this quiz is just directing you to uh, affiliate links. Cool. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. I don't, I don't know. We got these IROC ones that are like the ceramic style that don't have any like bad stuff in them. So, all right, let's pick, let's pick, let's just pick something fun. Let's pick those funny blue ones. Cause why not? Pick some plates to serve up your delicious meals. Okay. Um, I don't want to be boring because I'm drawn to these black ones. I just like stuff like that, but I'm just going to not be boring. I definitely don't want leafy ones, but I like these ones right here. I could definitely get away with those. So that's what we're picking. All right. And stock up with some flatware. Uh, gosh, Ew. copper. What a cra- what is this going to tell me about what style of kitchen I want? I just have no idea. All right. All right. All right. All right. Right. Yeah. You think black plate, black, black plates and plates are not boring. They're sleek. I like them. I'm just drawn to them. I love it. But, uh, I don't know. Those, those funky ones look cool. <laughs> it's, I don't even know if I like any of this stuff either. So, all right, let's go copper. Where are you at? Where's my mouse? There we go. Copper. Okay, and finally, something to splurge on. Okay. Something to splurge on. A stand mixer, an espresso machine, a pizza oven, cast iron cookware set. Well, it just I just picked cookware. A smart fridge. I already have one of those. And you know what? Like having the screen in the fridge does not make it any better of a fridge, though it's super cool. Um, but yeah. A Vitamix blender. Definitely love that. Definitely that was a game changer for us. Pizza oven. I don't think we'd make enough pizza. I don't drink espresso and I'd never use a coffee machine. I have an old fashioned percolator that just does the job. So I'm, I'm not an aficionado when, it, aficionado when it comes to coffee. A stand mixer. Yeah, never had a real good stand mixer, but we don't. Hmm. This is tough too. <sighs> something to splurge on. Well, forget it. I'm just going to... Oh, I don't want to do a stand mixer. Why does this have to be so difficult? All right. You... <laughs> Listen, you, you can't be hating smart appliances. They're so amazing. You got to get a fridge with a screen in it. And I'm telling you, it'll change everything. You watch YouTube right on there. And... Uh, It'll take pictures of what's inside your fridge. You can go to the supermarket and ask your fridge what's inside. It'll show you a picture. I'm telling you. <laughs> Over the top, though. We got it because it was on sale. Vitamix. Yeah. Man, Vitamix is so great. I love them. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Alternative. Okay. That's not a design style. It has nothing to do with what kind of kitchen I'd like. You're someone... Let's read more. Let's get my mouse over here. All right. All right, here we go. Ah, you're someone who likes to think outside the box. Yes. You don't often go for the traditional choices and tend to march to the beat of your own drum instead. Okay. Your dream kitchen might not be the kind you'd see on the cover of a magazine or anything. <laughs> That's nice. But its originality would definitely impress anyone who sees it. Yeah, it's funny that, I mean, I guess this stuff is rigged, but um, 
I uh, I don't think, you know, I guess so. But my kitchen in my house doesn't express this at all that, you know, because it's fairly like my kitchen in my house is, and if you've seen it, it's just a basic white shaker style kitchen. It's nothing fancy. And that's because I, it doesn't mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, that stuff doesn't mean anything to me. I just like what I like. And it was cool. <laughs> it's like kitchen horoscopes. It kind of does read like that or like just a really long fortune cookie um, of what your kitchen is. Um, but yeah, I, I, I can't say like when you see my kitchen, it's just very basic. So whatever that is, I like, and I don't think that's alternative. It's definitely not contemporary and it's not Mediterranean. So I don't know how accurate these uh, quizzes are, but they're fun to take. And um, my kids do these types of things all the time where, where they, <laughs> they, they, uh, they answer all these questions to figure out what their career is going to be. And um, so one of my kids, uh, <laughs> I remember they took it once. One of them was like a princess or something like that. It's like, that's not a career option, but you don't go to school for that. And one was an astronaut. They did one the other day. One was an astronaut. One, one was a, an athlete. So uh, Jack, he was pretty happy with that. But Eva getting an astronaut, she was like, why, why am I an astronaut? Anyway, I think it's kind of funny. So yeah, these tests are kind of rigged, but they're kind of, they're just funny. And we, I mean, obviously we understand that they're just, they just want to get ads in front of you. And so, you know, the, the longer you're on there, the better for them. And that's all cool. It's fun to look at. It's fun to just think about your design styles and like, let me know, like, what do you think? What is your design style? Let us know in the chat and how much, um, emphasis do you put on that? Like how important is the, the style of the kitchen in terms of like, I want it to be contemporary or is that not something that matters to you so much? And I've had clients over the years who could care less. And I've had clients over the years who are very particular about the exact style they wanted and they, they wanted a particular way. And if you had this door style, it wasn't going to match to, you know, maybe the rest of their house or what their styles were. And um, to me, that was, you know, that, you know, we're all different, right? So like my thing is like, I, I just don't care. It, it didn't really matter to me. And so I just picked the thing I liked the most, which was white shaker, but it could be anything and I'm fine. And my main, you know, crux of what I want to accomplish is that the the thing is functional and there's enough storage and it's accessible and it's designed in such a way that, you know, the user it's user friendly and, and you know, you can work in it. And as if, if it's one person or five people. And so, you know, but on the same side of that, I don't want it to look brutal. You know, I, don't, I mean, I, you want it to look nice. I want it to look nice. I want at least someone to come over and be like, oh, you, you know, you have an, a nice kitchen. And, you know, I wouldn't want it to be like, what's wrong with you? Why, why do you have that in your kitchen? But at the same time, like it's your kitchen. So everyone else can go away. It doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, let me know. What do you think? Anyone have their opinions on on what what they like? And you know, I can't believe it. Like, no smart appliances. Give me stupid inanimate stuff. No, Rose, come come on. What? No smart appliances. You got to have smart appliances. I'm telling you, they're just the way to go. I'm going to champion them. I'll do another video on them. I mean, the, the main thing about the fridge is that it keeps food cold, and that's other than that, it doesn't really matter. Hey, this is cool. cool. Hi, Dan. I uh, actually like a design that functions to support aging in place and it has a pop of color. I do like shaker doors. Aging in place is an interesting, um, not interesting co concept, it, but it is something that is important to think about. And I've had clients over the years who we have uh, designed kitchens for, and they had the idea that they will probably, as they grow older, deteriorate a little bit in their you know, their function as themselves, you know, that their, their usability as a human, um, you know, and, and how they bend and what they want to be able to do. And so planning that into the kitchen is really important. And as kind of sad as that makes me feel like you want to design your kitchen so that in case you're in a wheelchair someday, you can still operate in it. It is important for some people. And I've had designed kitchens where that was an idea that could happen. And, you know, God willing, it wouldn't happen, but some people, you know, think about that and, and is it something that we can be in? Can we live in? Do I always want to be bending over and digging around in that corner cabinet or would there be a better option that would suit me, uh, you know, for 
for the rest of, of my years using the kitchen. And that's important, I think. So aging in place and, or, and not even aging, like in, in terms of just growing, like, you, you know, also you can't move, but when you're, when you're designing a kitchen, it's important to think about the long-term use of that kitchen and, and how you're going to be using it. So what I mean is that's why I harp about pullouts and corner cabinets. Like I want to make the kitchen as user-friendly as possible, not for old me, but for me now. Uh, and then, you know, hopefully old me later will also appreciate it as well. So, and so, it, and I know, I know we had some comments here about uh, wall cabinets, you know, and the, this kind of trend that is um, in the industry now about, about less wall cabinets, like no wall cabinets at, at all, or very, or very little. And I, I think that's a really cool, um, you know, idea. And I think it's something that's catching on more and more and more. And I, I have had clients over the last year who said, I don't want any wall cabinets. And at first it's like, what? You don't want wall cabinets? Like, okay. <laughs> but then as I got thinking, I'm like, this kind of does make sense that you wouldn't want to have, you know, wall cabinets. One, you have to reach. Really, you can only get at one shelf. Um, but, you know, how important are they if you can use cabinets? That's why I think pantries are important because everything can be at like, you don't have to bend or stretch. It's just all right there. But we'll see what happens in the future. Do we want to have all pantries in the kitchen? I don't know. Bluebell. Mark, is there a good way to determine someone's style? My friend just bought a house and wants to gut the kitchen, but has no idea what she likes. I'm talking to her uh, to Ikea and look at the layouts. Yeah. That is the best way. I mean, walk through Ikea or... And, and Ikea is a good one because they have the best, in my opinion... Uh, and I haven't seen everybody's obviously, but they have the best uh, showrooms and they are able to just put you in that environment so you can kind of see it. Go through that and be like, I like this blue one. You know, I think that's a good way to do it. Um, you know, obviously looking through, you know, Google and just figuring out what are those things that you like and don't like. But Ikea is a good way to do it. If you can get to an Ikea, you know, we all can't, we don't, all don't have that luxury when you live out in the boonies. But uh, if you can go there or go on their website, that's a good way to do it because you'll just you'll know what you like and don't like. And that's why I don't peg myself into, well, I, I just like contemporary because I like all kinds of stuff. As long as the kitchen you know looks half decent and works, then that's good. And Ikea has some nice stuff. So uh, I, that's a good way to do it. All right. All right. Right. Hey. hey. Uh, yeah. Pull it. Some yeah. I mean. Nothing better, nothing better. The only thing, the only thing about drawers, in one sense, and I know I know a lot of us are fans of this. I'm a fan of drawers, but you know what's what's in them? How heavy is it, and how much bending do you want to do? And that's why having having pantries with pullouts and systems that are at like waist level, I think, is something we should be looking at in designing kitchens going forward in the future, so that it's just as easy as possible. Be like, well. You know, we all have to bend and stretch that. And it's true. Like bending is good for you. Like moving is good. And I'm not against that. I'm just saying to have your kitchen work the, the, the best way possible is that you, you just minimize some of that. It's like the least amount of resistance. Like when you're driving, you know, you want to pick the path of least resistance. It's kind of same with your kitchen in a way, though, you know, moving and bending and all that. I'm not I'm not obviously not saying that's not good. It should be doing that. But a lot of people, it's a big issue. So. All right, let's keep going. Um, yeah, so, I mean, listen, let me let me just put the question of the week up. Question of the week, what is your design style? Uh, that's what we're talking about. We went through a couple of these um, tonight just to find out some quizzes tonight to find out what, what my design style is. And I, I kind of disagree. I don't think my design style is contemporary Mediterranean or alternative, whatever that means. But a little bit of traditional, transitional, I guess. All right, let's keep going. Um, and so we're kind of mentioning about not having as many um, uh, wall cabinets, which I think is a good good thing. Um, 
All right, so let's just chat for a little while. Let's end the video for the replay and all of us on the live can just hang out for a bit. So thank you so much for watching. If you're catching this on the replay, um, hopefully you can let me know in the comments what you think your design style is. And uh, hopefully you will um, watch this next video that I'm pointing to here magically that's gonna appear on the screen. It's a great one, I promise you'll like it. Uh, what's it going to be about? I think it's going to be about um, what Ikea should do that will change the world. And if that's what it's going to be about. Check it out. You'll love it. Thank you.